So uh, my name is Mahabat. I'm from the Urkar School. Uh, today's my theme is a fractions. Uh, the first of all, I want to introduce about my school. Uh, my uh, school name is Urkir, and uh, uh, the children will study uh, uh, at uh, 8 a.m. Uh, to their uh, 5 a.m. and they will learn they are uh, basic subjects and also we have their um, courses like our intelligent development course, chess, robotics, theater, arts, art, logic, uh, mental arithmetic also etc so uh, also uh, my uh, same is their fractions uh, in fact uh, the, uh, the same of the fractions they will start in a grade two uh, they in a grade two they will understand what is the fractions uh, more about fractions comparing fractions comparing and ordering fractions adding and subtraction is like a fractions uh, in a grade three they will uh, they know about fractions they can comparing and ordering fractions they can add and they're in a grade three they will uh, equivalent fractions, comparing and ordering, also uh, uh, adding and subtraction a little bit harder way. In a grade four, they will learn about the mixed number, uh, about the improper fractions, improper fractions and the mixed numbers, comparing and the ordering fractions, uh, fractions of a set. <clears throat> of a set. Uh, I uh, take it about their fractions in a grade four because of uh, we just started the Singapore math. That's why the grade four didn't learn the program of grade two and grade three. That's why uh, grade four learn all of the programs. Uh, that's why uh, I want to show you how they learn uh, with uh, with that uh, information. So the fractions, uh, what they will learn uh, in a fraction. Fraction people will learn mixed numbers and improper fractions. I use it to name fractions greater than one whole. They will use fraction disks, uh, you can see in the year. Uh, also number lines to represent mixed numbers and the improper fractions. People will learn how to uh, convert improper fractions to mixed numbers and the vice versa. So people will also be uh, introduced to the concepts of fractions of a set and we learn to apply this knowledge to solve real world problems. So the first one is uh, mixed numbers. What is a mixed numbers? Mixed numbers, it's uh, when we at the whole number and the fraction. For example, I had the three, uh, three biscuits and the one half of biscuits I gave my friends. How many biscuits I have left? Yeah, uh, for example, in there, uh, I have the two whole biscuits uh, and um, uh, one half uh, I have left. Uh, so altogether, uh, I make two and one uh, quarter biscuits. Also, this example we can make with their uh, jug contains. Uh, for example, in there, uh, with jug contains, we can uh, make examples for letters, uh, for example, in the year. Also, we use it it's in our practice. So. Also, uh, in this, for example, in the one and four tens, uh, with a division, we can make in the easy way. So they are, we learn about mixed numbers. Uh, you can hear or no? Uh, no, we cannot hear. Uh, uh, there must be a way to share sound. Uh -huh. and, yeah, uh... yeah. Check it. Check it. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out.
One, two, three, four, four hole, and one in the year. Um, this is a fraction, and uh, with the numbers and the fraction, they make the mixed numbers. Uh, thanks for uh, repeats. Um, after uh, uh, thanks for every uh, children repeat, they will learn how to say it's their mixed number. So next, uh, also we uh, make it with the jacks. that two jacks and this in the air half. No, thank you. Okay. Your number is what number? What mix number? Great one and this is one. This is one. This is one search. Yes? Okay, thank you. The next is uh, improper fractions. Improper fractions, uh, as you can see, is uh, this. For example, uh, the last one was uh, proper fractions. In there, uh, we can divide uh, in there uh, four. For example, in there four quarters, uh, in there five quarters. This is five, and uh, in there five quarters, uh, it will be. Uh, the number in there will be greater, and uh, uh, we call this is an improper fraction. Um, improper fractions will be equal or greater than the denominator. That's why um, we uh, did it uh, with the, that number, uh, the fraction lines, because of fraction lines is a very simplest and very so. Um, the best way to understanding improper fractions. Examples in a book, also uh, the teacher's guide was so useful uh, for um, starting, for uh, preparing for their every lessons. 
Mm -hmm. Next, now, uh, next theme is the uh, improper fractions and the mixed numbers. Uh, in that, um, in that theme, they must, um, they must know differences between improper fractions and the mixed numbers. So, in there, they, uh, they make there some um, examples. For example, in their mixed numbers will be like this: three uh, quarters are uh, no. The improper fractions like these three quarters, uh, three uh, halves, uh, mixed numbers will be the different ways. And that they, uh, for example, in their 13 nines is the same uh, as a one and the four nines. Uh, and the 10 nines is the same as one and the one nines. Uh, they must know about it also. Uh, instructional uh, objectives if this is a uh, converts in improper fractions to a mixed number uh, convert a mixed number to an improper fractions so uh, for uh, understanding this we uh, make a game with cards uh, in there uh, if i uh, put the mixed number the next person must uh, put in their improper fractions that we uh, they must be equal Ten nines. Uh huh. One and uh, one nines. Uh huh. Next. Four thirds. Thirds. Uh huh. One one. One and. Third. One third. Uh huh. Next. Uh, this exercise was so helpful for understanding differences between improper fractions and the mixed number. So next is a comparing and ordering fractions. Uh, this theme of um, this theme of the lesson was a little bit harder because of the uh, the before starting the that lesson I uh, gave them their. The, uh, a little bit test and uh, in this test they must compare that fractions and uh, all of them uh, make like they thought they, like this three and three uh, they are equal seven eight uh, is a greater than eight that the fraction is a, a greater but after understanding uh, all um, that lesson they understood that uh, that greater will be three sevens um, so uh, in there, uh, we uh, play a game, their takeoff touchdown. So uh, the first, uh, if their uh, fact will be right, they must stand up. If it's, it's a wrong, they must sit down. One half is greater than one third. Yes. Great. Uh, sit down. Next, uh, one tenth is smaller than one twelfth. No, okay. So next is um, three three quarters is greater than one whole. No. No. Okay. Next one is six six is equal one. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, our exercise uh, like this. So uh, next, one half. Next is uh, uh, also in that comparing and ordering fractions. We make the work uh, workbook. Uh, also, we use it their uh, fractions uh, fraction sets. Also, fraction uh, circles. Also, game it there with the cards. So next is a fraction of a set. Uh, in 
instructional objectives is a in interpret uh, interpret a fraction uh, as a part of set, find the fractional parts of uh, a number, user uh, use and interpret models to find fraction of a set, also find the fraction of a set of uh, items using the uh, unitary methods. For example, in their, uh, in their uh, example, the mark has a set of 12 apples, uh, the mark divided into four equal groups and there are three of uh, four groups uh, four groups is there yellow or uh, green how many uh, uh, how many green apples mark have uh, in there they must the first one uh, equal divide into four groups and uh, in a four groups must be know uh, how many green apples in the air so uh, we uh, have 27 tubes uh, I one, have ten. Uh, two ninths of them is white please make uh, me they show with a cube two ninths of them is Fraction white That lesson uh, in a fraction, they uh, it was a so very interesting lesson uh, for them, and they said that, that uh, in a mixed proper uh, comparing in the ordering also fraction of a set. The fraction of a set was a very interesting lesson um, about in fractions. Also, I wanna I wanna say uh, I wanna show you uh, my word wall in my uh, class. I have the word wall. This is a in an old class, a grade one, grade two, grade three, and a grade four, uh, they um, in every in every week or every month, uh, I change uh, in their um, words, uh, pictures because of if they forgot their some keywords, they just see, uh, just read that need uh, need num need words, and after that they will. Uh, say uh, think that he, uh, that they need. Uh, so next. Uh, in the year, uh, I think that I said all of them. Also, for um, for bonus, I want to say about my other lessons. In uh, in one term, I make the activity day. In that activity, uh, will be about their. For example, in there was about money. In there was about uh, the multiplication and the fractions. It was a relay a relay race. Um, they uh, must uh, do all that exercises and every exercise has a, uh, one task. They must do that and they um, do that um, exercises. So uh, in <laughs> about the money. What? Uh, make uh, how to say they bring uh, uh, t um, parts of um, cakes uh, some of them uh, it was uh, in like a fractions we use a fractions also money also <laughs> they sell it in a real money and the, all of our uh, also teachers and the uh, children's was children was so happy after that. <laughs> so uh, thank you for attention. It was a so so short speech of me. Oh, this is great. Uh, which uh, what grade are these students? What grade? Are these four? Four. Grade four, yeah. Okay, that was very good. Uh, especially, uh, I mean, the the fractions, the stand-up activity you did, uh, the knowledge is quite impressive of the fractions. 
like just in their minds they can compare fractions is quite hard even for adults i think yeah i mean overall a very wonderful presentation thank you uh you show the you. strong knowledge of the content and the mathematics and also uh, i mean uh, very interactive lessons uh lots of hands-on activities and illustrative uh, just like Singapore math methodology is meant to be, right? It has to be very uh, concrete, pictorial, and abstract. So it has to be very uh, visual first, with the final aim being that students can understand math in abstract forms in their mind. So that's the whole point. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, this was wonderful, Mahabat. Really enjoyed it. Uh,